Urban legends have no inception, they have no starting date, no origin point, and no clear-cut reason why. They simply have existed as long as the human race has formed narrative through imagination. They are a big part of not only our popular culture, but of the cultures and mythology found all across the world. Asia specifically withholds many interesting stories passed down from generations to generations between ethnic groups, countries, and civilizations. And like many of the Western folk tales, the myths of Asian lore spread their fair share of spooky, spine-shivering stories. So hit those lights, sit back, and enjoy five of the creepiest urban legends from Asian territories. Kuchisaki Honor. In the late 1970s, Japanese ghost stories have been dominated with the legend of Kuchisaki Honor translated as the cleft mouth woman or slit mouth woman in English. As legend has it, a young woman married to a highly respected samurai warrior would go around her village asking local folks, am I pretty? They would always respond with positive affirmation, boosting her confidence and self-esteem to great heights. One day, her confidence got the best of her when she figured she could get away with an intimate affair with another noble soldier. The woman's husband soon found out, and as punishment, he took away her beauty by cutting a permanent grin into her face, slitting the mouth from ear to ear. The woman, scared with shame, committed suicide thereafter. Her ghost proceeded to haunt Japanese communities for years to come. The true horror spawned when the spirit of the slit mouth woman was reportedly ravaging unsuspecting victims. According to a few testimonies, a woman with a surgical mask was seen approaching people, asking, am I beautiful? If the person responded with no, Kuchisaki Yona would kill them with a pair of scissors or other sharp object. If the person responded with yes, the slit mouth woman would remove her mask, displaying her grotesque smile, and ask, what about now? Again, answering no will get one killed, and answering yes will win you a lacerated smile across your face, just like hers. Some reports found that answering with vague responses, such as so-so, or asking about your own beauty will distract the spirit, allowing time for escape. Some folks who tell the tale suggest using fruits and candles to toss at the woman for further distraction. Despite having the status of urban legend, the story of Kuchisaki Honor does hold some weight. In 1979, the rumors and sightings of the spirit came out of Nagasaki Prefecture, the capital of Nagasaki, and one of the most damaged areas in the United States' 1945 atomic bomb droppings. In October of 2007, a coroner found preserved records from the late 70s, detailing a woman who was known for chasing children around town before being hit by a car and dying from her wounds. It just so happens that her mouth was ripped from ear to ear as well. Was she the real slit mouth woman? Regardless, her folklore still keeps anxious minds up at night in Japan. The Monkey Man. Almost every country and community across the globe have taken credit for a Bigfoot type creature or urban legend but East Delhi in India has its own mass myth of a beast, much smaller than a Sasquatch, although just as frightening, Kalabanda. Kalabanda, translated to English as the Monkey Man, is said to be about four feet tall, covered in a thick coat of black fur, sometimes wearing a metal helmet with metal claw attachments. Creepiest of all, the creature is said to have glowing red eyes that pierce even the darkest of nights foretelling doom to those who walk in its path. A few eyewitness reports claim that the monkey man is actually of greater height, measuring at eight feet tall, with a vulpine snout, bulging muscles, and the ability to leap across building tops. While these cases are much more scattered and inconsistent with the main sightings, it leaves one to theorize if maybe the Kalabunda has the ability to be both either a smaller, spooky stalker creature or an agile, athletic beast. After the major outpouring of testimonies flooded throughout East Delhi in May of 2001, law enforcement came together to figure out the true case of such sightings. Several academic and psychological experts theorized that the sightings were nothing more than fabricated stories born out of mass hysteria. This led to unparalleled fear and anxiety amongst residents 
that spawned deadly circumstances, such as people jumping from rooftops and falling down stairwells during panic attacks. These people claim it was due to seeing the eyes or figure of the monkey man chasing after them, but no physical evidence was ever recovered. However, at one point, flabbergasted Indian police turned to local artists to sketch possible profiles of the Kalabanda to at least explain such a mysterious physical appearance of a terrifying creature. The Sweet Maiden of Anchal Bridge The Anchal Bridge in North Jakarta, Indonesia, is a wooden bridge found in a theme park meant for amusement and recreation amongst the Indonesian communities. However, the land and bridge itself didn't always facilitate such an entertaining image. During the late 1950s, historical and cultural researcher Ridwan Saudi discovered a once sustained bridge to be the location of a horrific murder cover-up and fodder for one of Southeast Asia's creepiest urban legends. The story dates back to 1817 during the Dutch occupation of Indonesia. It follows a young girl named either Arya or Mariam, depending on the version of the myth, who lived in a pavilion rented to her by her family by a rich Chinese man. When she turned 16, she was approached by the Chinese landlord who offered to take her in as his concubine. Completely unflattered by the request and knowing her place at the home was no longer beneficial, Arya quickly turned down the offer and ran away. In the days after abandoning all that she knew, she drifted through unknown villages and mysterious lands. During her journey, another Chinese folksman named Putin stopped her to admire her beauty and make intimate advances. Again, she refused the man's remarks and left him rejected. Angered and ashamed, Putin sent his band of thugs after her to capture her and bring her back to his estate. In the thugs' kidnapping attempt at the Dempit Dam near Lake Sunter, she put up quite a fight herself, lighting the fuse of her combatants, who eventually killed her in the heat of the battle. Worried they would be caught and imprisoned, the thugs took her body and dumped her in a paddy field in the Anchal area, a place known for its brackish waters, mangrove forests, and swamps that necessitate bridges, hence the Anchal Bridge. The tragedy of the girl then sparked the decades-long legend of a ghost or spirit that haunts the modern Anchal Bridge. Eyewitness testimonies claim that the apparition of a beautiful maiden girl appears on the bridge to frighten unsuspecting drivers. Her spirit is said to be the cause of multiple car crashes near Anshul, specifically targeting young male drivers and those with a sinful background. Many media reports and fake photographs have caused the urban legend to be nothing more than a hoax or a creepy bedtime story for Indonesian children, but the horrifying history of Southeast Asia's occupation and likelihood of such a tragedy happening definitely makes you wonder if the sweet maiden truly is returning to enact her revenge. Legend of the Brosno Dragon Almost everyone has heard of the tales and terror of the Loch Ness Monster, but most are unaware of the mythological creature supposedly resting underneath the chilly waters of Lake Bosno, located in the Andropol district of the Tver region in Russia. The monster known to Russian locals as the Bosnia lurks beneath the lake, but is known to rise to the surface, displaying a long, thin tail and a remarkable head in the shape of a dragon, which is why it's widely considered to be the Brosno dragon. The legend dates back to the 13th century, during the early years of the Mongolian Empire, when a fierce Tatar-Mongol army set up camp near the lake whilst on a journey to Novgorod. The faction's leader encouraged his soldiers to take their horses down to the lake's shore to rehydrate. However, when the horses approached the water, a cacophonous screech echoed from the lake and an enormous beast emerged from within, devouring the unlucky horses and some of the soldiers who attempted to fight off such a creature. The incident scared off the leader, and his army and the warriors ran back home in fear, thus actually saving the city of Novgorod from Mongolian capture. In the centuries since, legend always tells of unsuspecting fishermen disappearing off the waters of Lake Brosno, assumedly to the dragon. Chronicles about the lake also speak of mirages and hallucinations of a sand mountain that appears as an island in the middle of the water. Nearby villagers, thinking the island to be real, bring their treasure out in the middle of the lake to hide their secrets, only to find themselves stranded at the mouth of the Brosno dragon, 
swallowing them and their possessions whole. In modern times, the dragon is said to skim the surface of the water during the evening hours, blending in with the twilight skies and camouflaging from human onlookers. One urban legend proclaims the dragon took down a German spy plane during World War II, and others frequently blame the beast for local missing person cases and upturned fishbones. Sadly, no physical or concrete evidence has ever been uprooted in support of the dragon's existence. Many theorize that the dragon head seen underneath the water is actually a school of smelt shoals, a school of fish that swim in formation that could be mistaken as a reptile's head. Another popular explanation is unexplored submarine volcanoes ejecting miniature explosions to the surface, creating the effect of a massive object rising out of the lake. Because the multiple levels of Lake Brosno's bottom have yet to be explored, limnic eruptions and gas fissures cannot be ruled out. And who knows, maybe there isn't a mythical beast inside the lake, but one inside the volcano under the lake's floor. Hopefully further research of Lake Brosno itself will uncover more information regarding this fascinating legend. The Tomb of Don Simeon Bernardo Chapter 12, verses 7 to 9 of the Book of Revelations reads, There was war in heaven, Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon and his angels fought back. But he was not strong enough, and they lost their place in heaven. It's a summary of a war in heaven in which Saint Michael, the archangel, defends Satan the devil. An important tale, not only in Christianity, but in the very religious country of the Philippines as well. However, positioned in the cemeteries of Melibon in the Philippines is a symbol of the story that has haunted residents for decades. Don Simeon Bernardo passed away in 1934, but before his actual death, he left specific instructions for his children to bury him in a tomb topped with a literal statue of evil, depicting Satan himself standing in victory over Saint Michael, a complete antithesis of the Book of Revelations. On a plaque next to the grave is a dialogue of Satan proclaiming a dominion over earth and mankind in whole. The entire scene is quite bizarre for such a strictly religious country and has brought forth its fair share of scares, folklore and mystery. The urban legend of Don Simeon's tomb have swirled around both locals and tourists alike in Malabon City. Multiple lifetime citizens of the area claim that the statue was actually a miniature model years back and has grown supernaturally with each passing year. Others report that the statue comes to life during the darkest parts of night, terrorizing from the shadows on grave robbers and those who pass by the cemetery. In fact, many figure the iron cage now built around the statue was fixated to protect the people from the devil's antics. Many documentaries, news stories and television spots have covered the controversial statue especially bringing together followers and theorists during All Saints Day celebrations. However, a major clue to the reason behind the tomb recently surfaced from the great-grandson of Don Simeon, Mr. Lubus Bernardo. He said the daughter of Don Simeon, one of the children instructed to install the figure of Satan, once told him that her father only wanted the set piece because he believed evil was superior over the world at the time of his death and that the world was mired in wrongdoing and wickedness. Mr. Lubis also mentioned that there, Don Simeon granted the family permission to remove the statue once the tides turned and good prevailed over evil as God intended. To this day, no such effort has been made and maybe for good reason. A lot of negative energy seems to be flowing across earth these days and the tomb of Don Simeon is an important, if not chilling reminder that evil has the upper hand, at least for now. So that's five terrifying Asian urban legends. I hope you've enjoyed, and I hope you're loving all of these creepy videos this month. We've got a ton more to come. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.